Hello everyone, I am Jyotsna and today we will read a story that is The Lost Child by Mulkraj Anand from Class 9 English Moments. This story is by Mulkraj Anand as I told you. He was an Indian writer who wrote in English. He was notable for his description or depiction of the lives of poorer castes in traditional Indian society. He was also a recipient of a civilian honor, an Indian civilian honor that is the Padma Bhushan. In this story, as the title suggests, Lost Child, it is about a child who is lost. He goes to a fair with his parents and he gets attracted by many things on the way. We see that the way the story is written by Mulkraj Anand, he has really explored the psyche of a child. And every time this child gets attracted to things on his way, he lags a little behind to his parents. His parents being loving and caring ones keep calling him so that they do not lose him. But due to a rush of crowd in the fair, at the end we see that this child is separated from his parents. So let's see how he finds his parents or what exactly happens. Before we begin, we have a child goes to a fair with his parents. He is happy and excited and wants the sweets and toys displayed there. As I told you, he gets attracted to many things. Sweets and toys are some of them. But his parents don't buy them for him. Why does then he refuse when someone else offers them to him? As we read the story, we will find an answer to this question. So let's begin. It was the festival of spring. Now in the story's beginning, it is said that they go to a fair. So the fair is in honor of the festival of spring. The winter season is over. Harsh climate is no more there. It is spring. People and nature both are happy. They are enjoying themselves. From the wintry shades of narrow lanes and alleys, emerged a gaily clad humanity as i said that the winter season is over so people have come out of their houses and they are going to a fair some walked some rode on horses others sat being carried in bamboo and bullock carts. One little boy ran between his father's legs, brimming over with life and laughter. So it is a festival of spring. And lanes are narrow roads. Lanes are roads that are narrow. Emerged, came out. Alleys are narrow passages. Gaily is both cheerful as well as bright appearance. And here it would be gaily clad, that means people, humanity is humans who came out of their houses in a large number, they were wearing bright colored attire or clothes. Now some people walked, now it shows the mode of transportation that some walked, some rode on horses, others sat and they were carried in bamboo and bullock carts. Now in this entire scene there is one little boy 
who is happy who is over dreaming that is who is some to be full of something is the meaning of dreaming and in this context it would be that this child is filled with life and laughter this child ran between his father's legs the child is young the child is in a playful mood right now and it is a mood of happiness festivities and people to go to the fair as it is the festival of spring so it is filled with life even the entire scene and the mood is filled with life come child come call his parents as he lagged behind fascinated by the toys in the shops that lined the way lagged behind is left behind fascinated is attracted and lined that way is set along the way now as the child was fascinated uh, looking at the toys that were arranged in a particular way on the way to the fair he lags a little behind he is left a little behind and his parents call him saying come child come they are protective of him and they keep asking him to be with them he hurried towards his parents his feet obedient to their call his eyes still lingering on the receding toys as he came to where they stopped to wait for him he could not suppress the desire of his heart even though he knew he well knew the old cold stare of refusal in their eyes i want that toy he pleaded now when his parents called him he hurried towards them that is he rushed towards them and his eyes were still lingering that is his eyes were still on a uh, lingering means lasting long his eyes were still on the toys receding because as he walked a little away it seemed that the toys which were in the shop they were left behind so he moved forward and they were left behind and as he went to the place where his parents waited he couldn't suppress the desire of his heart he couldn't control or put an end to and he already knew that they would refuse he could identify that old cruel stare of refusal in their eyes and yet the child pleaded he requested his parents and he said that he wanted one particular toy now the way this child already knew well in advance that his parents will not buy a toy gives us a slight indication that probably his parents were strict disciplinarians they wanted to instill discipline in their child and hence the child already knew that his parents would not agree to buy a toy for him yet he is a young child he cannot control his emotions or desires and for a child toys are something he would always be attracted to and the same happened here with this young child as well he wanted a toy and he pleaded with his parents now subscribe to bright duty course at rupees 1 per day only download bright duty app from play store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10
Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices.